Hello and welcome to Profit Sundays. I'm Kaylee Kelly, and in this video series, I explore one of my favorite pieces of studio equipment, the Profit 12. In this uh, video, I'm going to explore some of the sounds that we can create using oscillator sync. Let's get started. Slider 1, hold latch, press hold. This gives us an initialized patch. Oscillator 1, let's leave that as a sawtooth. Hit sync. Oscillator 2, it doesn't matter what the wave shape is. It's the uh, same cycle. That's starting to sound familiar, I'm sure, to some of you. Let's assign a controller. I'm going to use my foot controller, uh, left foot controller, which I have assigned to breath. And I'm going to assign that to affect frequency one oscillator. Okay. That's a basic um, sync voice. Let's take it another step further. Let's use oscillator LFO4 to affect oscillator 1 shape mod. Because this synth actually does sawtooth pulse width. Let's use oscillator 3. I'm going to put it as a sample and hold, random, and I'm going to use that to affect oscillator 1 frequency as well. Turn the slew up a little bit. Turn the volume down a little bit on oscillator one. Let's turn it down to 50. Let's make uh, oscillator three a sine wave. Ooh, what am I doing there? I don't want to change the frequency. I want to change the shape. And I'm going to make it a sine wave. And I'm going to use that only as a modulator. And I'm going to modulate the low pass filter cutoff. Audio rate modulation of the low pass filter. <laughs> and I'm going to also, I'm going to make a sub oscillator here. Bring, um, Bring oscillator four down an octave and also make that a sine wave. Give it a bit of slop. Give a little bit of slop to oscillator three as well.
going to add a little bit of vibrato to oscillator 2. I'm I'm changing the oscillator one pitch with my left foot, and because that's synced, instead of changing the pitch of of the the sound, I'm changing the duty of the cycle in the oscillator. And then I also have an an oscillator changing um, the shape mod of oscillator one. And then oscillator three, which is set to sample and hold, is also changing the frequency. So it's always moving. And then oscillator uh, LFO two is oscillating the frequency of oscillator two, which actually changes the pitch. Just to give it a bit more motion. Let's change it to two pole on the filter section. Bring it down. Let's have velocity affect how much filter we actually, how much filter envelope we actually get. Also change the amp envelope. Let's put a longer tack on it and a bit of a longer release. Bring down the sustain a bit, maybe too. Long decay. We're getting an interesting sound here. Let's turn up the um, the modulation from oh, uh, not oscillator one. I want oscillator three to modulate low pass filter cutoff. Here we go. Let's use key amount. I want to make the higher notes a little bit brighter. So sync can give you pretty huge palette of sounds. Doesn't all have to be uh, Gary Newman type sounds. Let's uh, beef up the bottom end a little bit. Turn up the resonance on the high pass filter. Turn up the key tracking to track keys perfectly. Now I'm gonna use my old trick of using velocity to affect attack time. I really wish I had a polyphonic aftertouch. Velocity is one of the only um, per note controllers that I have access to without actually having poly aftertouch. It's kind of unfortunate, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to affect all of my envelope attack times with my velocity. Envelope attack, all envelope attack. That means I can increase my attacks a little bit too.
Maybe a little less of an effect there. Maybe turn down the sub oscillator a little bit. It's getting a little bit heavy on the bottom end. Turn down the resonance on the high pass filter as well. That's a bit better. It's a very big sound. Let's turn down the, uh, the frequency of that vibrato. Let's use velocity to control our drive. Uh, one of my other favorites. Velocity to drive. Adds a lot of expressivity to the sound. You can bring drive up a bit as a bass as well. I get a bit duller actually. Add a bit more release. I'd actually like um, my LFO2 that's affecting the vibrato to actually fade in. So I'm going to turn the amount down. I'm going to use oscillator 3 to affect that. So LFO2 amount. LFO2 amount. I'm going to have it affected by envelope 3. Don't want that much of an effect. I might actually take uh, advantage of the delay as well. Gonna thin it out a bit with a bit of hack. That's nice. Now let's add a bit of delay at the end of this.
I'd like to have a bit of control over my filter as well. Uh, let's use um, my other pedal, which I have CC number four foot pedal, and let's assign that to Ella, uh, low pass filter cutoff. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, let's actually take the delay and give it a bit of a, <clears throat> let's give it a bit of a um, stereo feel. And let's change low pass to high pass and cut off a little bit of that bottom end from the delays. I don't want it to build up too much. And high pass. Cut off a bit of the bottom, pan it the opposite direction. Cool. Similar amounts, but not the same. Is such a beautiful big sound. A little distortion at the end. So I'm controlling the frequency one, which changes the duty cycle of, of the oscillator one with my left foot, and I'm affecting low pass filter with my right foot. That's what you can't see. You know what would be cool, actually, on this patch would be after touch. Let's have after touch affect decimation. bit less subtlety is key I think let's turn up hack a bit more maybe just thin it out there we go
Well, thank you for watching another episode. It was my pleasure. Um, this is a patch based on sync. It should give you guys an idea of some of the stuff you can do with sync. The movement that you can create inside a sound. It's beautiful. It still makes my hair stand on end, the sounds I can make with this synth. Anyway, till next Sunday, guys. Happy sound designing. <laughs>